Hey guys, it's Reed with Atlantis Fitness and Flobbies. Today is going to be a 30 minute full body workout on the reformer. Um, we are going to be using some props for this class. So what I want you to do is get two weights. Um, I'll be using two 10 pounds. You could use two eights, two fives. Um, we are going to be doing arm work with these. So make sure it's something that you feel decently comfortable with and can do about 10 to 15 reps. Um, the other thing that we will need for this is your ring. Um, so go ahead and get those. And then we're gonna start on our backs. We're gonna start on three reds. So go ahead and get your spring set. Grab your weights. And we're gonna make our way all the way down. So once you make your way down onto your backs, we're gonna bring the weights together on your chest, and we're doing what's called a hex press. So the whole time, you're just gonna be pressing the weights up and down this first round, squeezing the weights together the entire time. So that every time you press up, think squeeze those weights together. That way it takes that kind of out of the shoulders and brings a little bit more into your chest. We're gonna start with a single leg press while we do that. So right heel is gonna start on your foot bar below your hip bone. Left knee is gonna float over your hip at 90 degrees. Take a deep breath in, on your exhale, press the period all the way up, squeeze those weights together, and hello lower down. Exhale, press up, and hello lower. Again, think squeeze the weights together as you press them up, so you're hitting your chest. And then we're on our right heel, so I want you to focus on trying to squeeze that right glute as well and making that more the primary mover here. Switch legs, so left heel down, right knee floats over the hip. Same thing, big press up, squeeze those weights as you press them up to the ceiling, and lower. Again, focus on squeezing that left glute, making it more of the primary mover here. Start now, right heel back to your foot bar, left leg long. As we press up, we're gonna draw our left knee in and then come back down and extend it. For our upper body, we're gonna start arms up to the ceiling, a little bend in our elbows, we're gonna do a chest fly. So as you press up, you're gonna open the arms out, draw that knee in, and then slow come down, extend the legs, or extend the leg, bring the weights together. Inhale up, and up. bend in that elbow. Again, this is going to help keep this upper body exercise in your chest and out of your shoulder joint. One more. And all the way down. All right, so switch inside. Left heel beneath the left hip bone, right leg long. Knee to chest as you go up, open those arms wide. And exhale, come down, extend the leg, bring the weights together. Inhale up, knee in. Exhale, extend. Doing about 
15 reps every exercise. down to your chest again, shake your hands out if you need to, last one each leg, so we're coming back to your hex press that we did on the first one, this time we're adding that with a kick of the left leg up to the ceiling, so deep breath in, on that exhale press the weights up, kick that left leg up to the ceiling, inhale lower down, exhale kick, inhale lower, now as you do this keep that tailbone down, don't let it lift with the leg as you kick, Remember, squeeze the weights together. So you're keeping this in the chest and out of the shoulder joint. Six more. You've got this. We're almost done here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. All the way down. All right. So we're going to come up to seated. You can set one of your weights down. We're going to twist around and face the top of the reformer now. Um, so just bring one weight onto the carriage next to you. We aren't going to use it to start. We're going to just go into a regular lat pull with straps. Still on three red springs. We'll grab your straps, cross them over. So left handle and right hand, right handle and left hand. Sit up tall, roll the shoulders back and down. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, pull back, palm up. Inhale, palm down. Exhale, pull back, palm up. Inhale, palm down. Okay, keep the spine lifted. Engaging those abs. And pulling the rib cage out of the hips as you pull back. Growing a little bit taller every time. So let's turn around. We're going to take off one red, put on the blue. So you should be on two red springs, one blue now. We're going to come into a little bit of a delt pull now. So palms down, thumbs toward your armpits, elbows wide, and then reach forward. Thumbs towards the armpits, reach forward. So make sure here you're not 
Letting those shoulders lift up towards your ears as you pull back. Keeping those shoulders down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you pull back. Again, hollowing the belly out. Suck that belly in and up like you're putting on a tight pair of pants. Three more here. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Reach forward. Place the straps back down on the proper pegs. Turn around. You're going to take off that blue spring. So you're on two reds now. We're going to take the left strap, bring it over to your right hand. We're coming back to our palm up pull. This time you're just doing a single arm. Now grab your weight. We're going to add to that a shoulder press. So you're going to hold your weight at your shoulder. Slowly pull back, palm up to the waist. At the same time, press that weight overhead. And then slow release. Now the key when you're doing opposite things with your arms or your legs is going slow. Give the brain a chance to realize what it's trying to do, what it's asking of the body. Now the body can follow. Again, you have the left handle in your right hand, pulling back, palm up, and with the left hand, you're pressing the weight overhead. While you do that, you're also engaging those abs, suck that belly in and up. Got about three more here. Three. switch sides. Place the strap down, bring the weight over. Now grab the right strap, bring it over to your left hand. Right hand is holding the weight at shoulder height. On your exhale, pull back palm up, press the weight overhead, and slow release. And as I do this, I do it with my elbow forward. You could do it with your elbow out to the side. Um, I try not to do that because I find it goes into my shoulder joint more. Exhaling, scooping out the belly, stabilizing the torso, engaging our abs. to one red and one blue. One red, one blue. We're going to again grab the left strap with your right hand. This time take your ring out. Ring is going to come out as far as you can to keep the arm straight. Hand rests on top of the ring. Try not to grip the ring. I find if you grip the ring you move your arm forward and backwards. You just want palm down. What we're going to do is we're going to keep both palms down. We're going to pull our right palm to our shoulder with the thumb coming in towards the armpit. At the same time, you're gonna press down with the left palm and squeeze that ring. All right, so nice false spine. Deep breath in, right palm pulls to the shoulder, left palm presses down, and release. Try and keep the chest square, try not to twist, and let one shoulder pull in front of the other. And scoop out the belly as you start to pull back. Going slow here. So I'm 
actually a lot of these exercises. It's the same as if I was asking you to pat your belly and rub your head. Turn around and go to one red now. Grab your weight again. We're going to start with the weight in the right hand. Now I'm on one red. We're going to do a single arm bicep curl. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate it on my left side first so that you can see what we're doing because the weight is going to be in my right hand on my right side. Um, for this, if a single arm bicep curl on red is too much, go down to a blue. We're going to keep the arm that's holding the strap up. So the elbow stays in line with the armpit the entire time. The hand holding the weight is going to be down by your side with the weight resting on the outside edge of the um, reformer. Now this elbow, the one with the strap, stays up at armpit height. The opposite elbow stays in line with the ribs, so it's not doing this, it stays down here. We're going to sit up tall, and you're going to do a bicep curl with both hands. And then release. Again, the only thing moving is the forearms here. So again, we're going to start, weight in your right hand, strap in your left, tall spine, take a deep breath in, slow exhale, curl both hands in, and release, exhale, and release. Remember the hand holding the strap, or the elbow with the strap, stays at armpit height, the elbow with the weight, Stays by the rib cage. Strap comes up to shoulder height, big breath in, slow curl in, slow release, slow curl in, slow release. Here we're doing about 12 reps. Still scooping that belly out, keeping that spine stable. Two more here. That's two. And one. Excellent. All the way down. All right. So again, we're going to switch sides. I'll demo on this side first, though. Um, now we're going to go into a press back, working our tricep, and an overhead press with the weight. So for the overhead press with the weight, you want your elbow up to the ceiling, and then you want the weight to kind of come behind your head, so your elbow is actually turned out slightly here. Got the strap. 
with your right arm, or, um, with your left arm, you'll be pressing back from a demo on this side. So you've got strap, palm back, elbow with the weight is up to the ceiling. Big breath in as you press back, slow press up weight overhead. And slow release. All right, so let's actually get started. Weight is in your right hand, strap is in your left hand. Deep breath in, exhale, press, and release. And think as you release that weight, it should hit you about between the shoulder blades. Be mindful of not hitting yourself in the back of the head. Again, going slow. Try not to let the shoulders rotate here. And again, if you need to go down, you can go down to a balloon spring for this exercise. Last one. Excellent. We'll switch sides. So, weight comes over to the left hand. Grab the right strap with the right hand. Right hand is palm back. Left elbow is up to the ceiling. Sit up nice and tall. Deep breath in. Exhale. Press. And release. Press. to just a little bit of stretching here to finish off. So we're just going to stay right where we're at. Bring a little bend to your knees here. Slowly start to fold forward. You could grab the feet or you could just let the hands rest down on the ankles. So let the head drop. Just kind of stretching out through the low back. Start to slow that breath down a little bit more. So let's sit with our feet in butterfly, nice tall spine, take the right arm all the way across the body, catch the right forearm with the left forearm, stretch it through the back of the shoulder here, and just nice slow breaths here. And you can take these stretches for as long as you want. I'm just doing about five to seven breaths. And slowly release and do an opposite. So left arm comes across the body, catch it with the right forearm. This one you can either sit up or you're going to lean towards the left, getting a little stretch down through the side body. And come back up and we'll switch sides. Grab the left elbow with the right hand, sit up tall to start, and then if you want to, you can lean to the right. Up. Again, if 
you're facing the top of the reformer, we're just going to grab the feet, sit up tall, deep breath in, exhale, fold forward, and just stretching out the low back again, and stretching through those inner thighs a little bit. So we are done. Excellent job, everyone. Um, thank you for joining me. If you like this video and would like some more, please leave me a thumbs up and or a comment. Um, let me know if there is anything you want to work on in the comments section. Um, and other than that, y'all have a wonderful holiday season and I'll see you next time. Bye.